Uh oh, you there? Get on top. <laughs> another one, another one bites the dust. That's not good. And another one, yeah. another one, another one bites the dust. Sit still. Another no. one, yeah. another one, another no. one bites the dust. Ain't gonna call the cops. And another one, another one. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Time to type the pull up at your house and read off your screen name account. Make it come clean. They even make it call your spouse. So why don't you come on out and see what we're talking about? We got your own camera. But first, is anyone in the house? Look, we got your chat logs. We got you by the balls. And when the police pull up, we give them to the law. the big homie Tom from Colorado. He on the stroll. Pulling up on bed from Colorado Pet Patrol. Another one. Another one bites the dust That's not good. And another one yeah. Another one Another one bites the dust so sit still. Another no. one yeah, Another yeah. one Another yeah. one bites the dust yeah, gonna call the cops. And another one Psych. Another one Another one bites the dust hey. <laughs> Royce K did it so you know it gotta slap Let me see the picture. Let me see the picture. No, that's not him. Is it? Raymond. You Raymond? What's going on, buddy? How are you? Can I talk to you for a minute? What's going on, man? You got a few minutes to talk to us. My name's Tommy. I'm with Colorado Pet Patrol. Um, Kind of, if you can give us a little bit of your time, it's okay. We're not law enforcement, but we kind of want to talk to you about a conversation you're having with a child. We can either, we can have the conversation, we're not law enforcement, or we could just call law enforcement here. They can come talk to you. It's completely up to you, um, however you want to do it. No, it's okay. I've got a few minutes before I have to go. What do you forward. mean a few minutes? This might take a little more than a few minutes. Um, we got a pretty big issue with something you were you were trying to set uh, set up today. Um, actually, for the past couple of, couple of days. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? Probably. Probably. We're recording for your safety and ours, obviously. Um, you know, we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to find out what you're doing. So, mm -hmm. who do you think I'm talking about? Heather. Heather, okay. How old is Heather? I think she said she was 14. Come on, one more try. One more try. Because you confirmed it twice, so I know you know how old she is. 13? 13, yeah. So, what were you going to do with this girl tonight? I really didn't have anything planned. Uh, I got, I, you, I, I got, got some a little different. So the more honest you are with us, the better. Um, we didn't call your work. We didn't say anything. Um, we didn't even tell your fellow officers that were walking by. We just, come, we wanted to come talk to you first um, and kind of see where your head is with this. Are you the boss here? I'm the supervisor for Great. You're the supervisor. Yeah. How many, how many people work with you right now? Uh, I have. I'll have five under minute. Okay, so at 10:30 or 11:30, you were going to take a break and go to the truck with a 13 year old, right? And, and, yes, and do you think it's okay to have sex with 13 year olds at work? I don't. What do you think your company would think about this? They wouldn't. Probably wouldn't be going to work tonight, right? Probably. So basically we just come here, man. We want to go over chat logs with you. Um, want to find out what the hell you're doing and make sure it doesn't happen again. You got a 17 and a 19 year old daughter, right? A 19 year old daughter and a 17 year old son? Yeah, Right. correct. I mean, do, 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 you, do you like her friends too? Have, have you ever been in trouble for this before? No. Never? No. No? What was up with this one? I mean, it's pretty disturbing. You understand, right? Yes. Like, very disturbing. Um, I'm glad we got this. And just so you know, we got this um, today. Okay. Um, but she's not going to come. She's not going to come. She's actually being held. She's not going to come. Okay. okay? Um, she's with her parents. Um, we wanted to come talk to you and make sure that this shit doesn't happen again. But, dude, you're a security guard. You're supposed to protect people, and you're bringing a child to your work, a seventh grader. That you were, pos did you bring a towel? I did. For what? Because she, she told me to make sure I brought one. Well, because you said she was going to bleed. Right? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you said it was a possibility. Yeah. Possibility that she was going to bleed and we needed to be prepared mm -hmm. for a mess. So you were going to use the towel for, for a mess. So, so, so in all intentions, you were going to have sex with her tonight. I mean. That's what she was coming for. Is that okay? 
No, it, it's yeah. not. And I, to be honest with you, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. Are you sober? Yes. So, just you, nobody else. Your kids aren't messaging. You don't got a buddy with you sitting in the truck messaging. Nothing no, like that. No, 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 no. no. Okay. No, no. Why did you say you had a blue truck? Because that's what I drive. You're not driving the white one. No, that's actually blue. If you see it in the sun, it's oh. blue. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a blue '92 Chevy. Okay, it looks white when you pull it in. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Um, What's up, Alec? But do, do you talk to a lot of little girls? I mean, you shouldn't be worried about that. You're the boss anyway, right? I mean, no. you, you kind of be got to be held accountable at some point, man. Yeah. You're you're trying to meet a 13 year old for for sex, and you actually were maybe okay with a relationship with this child, or was it going to just be tonight and no more? It probably would have been just tonight. Just tonight, you would have had sex with her once and then blown her off type deal. How many how many girls have you done that to? None. Never. Never a one night stand. A long time ago. How old was she? She was well. She was in her thirties. She was she was wise at the time. So have you ever had any kind of intercourse with a child? No. Never. Never. You just woke up this week and said, "I'm gonna try this out." Yeah, like I said, I couldn't tell you what was going through my head. I, I honestly don't know. Because you could have went away. I mean, how long have you been talking to her for? Heather? Yeah. It hasn't been very long. I don't a week? Really, I don't Two remember. weeks? Probably. Okay. So you could have gone away at any time, right? Matter of fact, um, there's a lot of times where you sent six or seven messages in a row because we didn't respond. So basically, you weren't trying to go away or nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. You were very into this, right? And she was a child, man. Those pictures are of a 13-year-old. Um, actually, those pictures are of, well, 13 now. But when they were taken, it's a 12-year-old. Did it look like an 18-year-old? No. It looked like a child. You know? What would your kids think about this, man? Dad's out there bringing kids home that they would go to jail for. Yeah. You understand that your, your son would be in trouble? for? Well, he's 17, I guess. He might be all right. But your daughter would go to jail for this. Yeah. I, I understand all that. I, I truly do. And like I said, I don't know what thoughts were going through my head. Well, you basically, every time you talked to her, you wanted phone sex. Tell me what you do. What would you do? If I came to your house and snuck in, what would you do? If your mom wasn't there, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? You know? And then you, you have a, obviously have a fantasy with young girls' underwear. <laughs> you know? Is that just a fantasy thing or what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's fine with adults, you know? Yeah. No big deal. But I think you've asked, um, you know, what kind of underwear she wore 15, 20 times, something like that. A lot, huh? So, um, and, and then, uh, I mean, would you have brought her to your house? No. You wouldn't? Why wouldn't you bring her to your house? My kids are there. What would they, would they, would they, they would probably question that, right? If a little girl came into the house? Yeah. What was your plan for tonight? You are going to work starting at 10 o'clock. And uh, yes. Heather was going to have her friend drop her off. Was she just going to sit in your truck while you were working and you just dip in and uh, visit? Or? I honestly don't know what she, how long she planned to stay. I, or was well, long enough because you said you can go to your truck and then you guys would have the towel and you could have sex with her. And if she wanted to use a condom, it was up to her. But you didn't want to use a condom because you had a bisectomy, so you couldn't get her pregnant anyways. Because um, you say right here. Do you want me to wear a condom? You make sure you put a towel down. Because um, you said you're most li likely going to bleed during sex. I mean, especially a child would probably bleed during sex, don't you think? That's why you shouldn't be, you know, touching children. This is a seventh grader. Do children come to this emergency room? <laughs> Depends on the night, but yeah, they can. You work for... Your Facebook says you work for... No, uh lost the contract it's uh hss security now so so i know you said you never done this before but how do we make sure that you don't do this again that's my biggest concern man this is disgusting dude this is fucking disgusting yeah, you're I, you're I, a pig I, for this i, I understand I'm not going to get upset you calling me that, obviously. Well, I'm calling you a pig because it's disgusting pigs do this shit, yeah. you know? I'm not calling you a pig because of your job. But I'm, no, it won't happen. It will not happen again. But it happened this time. Yeah. Do you know you committed felonies by trying to teach so somebody sex? Um, what was her homework? What was her homework? Let's see if you, you're going to be honest. What was her homework? She was... I had asked her if she had ever given a job her. She said no. You said, would you give me a job? Oh, okay. And 
She said she didn't know how. She said she didn't know how. I just told her she could Google how to do it. Or lick a, or if she had a popsicle, just do it just like a popsicle. Okay. Yes. So. It's a good frame of reference <laughs> for a job. Excuse me. Seventh grader, you wanted her to come to your work where you're supposed to be protecting this place, but you're gonna be outside getting a job from a 13 year old having sex and possibly having her bleed in the parking lot. It's just disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting. And on your Facebook, it says you're in a relationship. I'm married. You're married? Where's your wife? She's actually picking up my daughter from Well, me. that's why we couldn't come to your house. So you think we can give your wife a call? I mean, it'd probably be better if you do. Again, we're not law enforcement. We can't tell you what to do. All right, but I think you need to be held accountable. I think this is fucking wrong. You got a wife. We already knew that. I was just trying to see if you're going to be honest. That's why I asked you, why can't we go to your house? Um, but we will reach out to her and let her know what's going on. Or you can do it right here in front of us. Uh, the more accountable you are, the better it is for us. I mean, you fucked up, man. You made a huge, huge mistake. And you are our 236th catch. Every single one said it's their first time. But you forgot our age twice. You thought, are you talking to a 14-year-old too? No. You're not? There's no 14 year old? No. Because you kept saying we're 14. We're like, no, we're 13. Twice that happened. And then tonight when I asked you, you said 14. So I'm just wondering if maybe you're getting oh. confused on. Do you talk to a lot of minors? No. No. She's just. The only, she's the only one. Ever. Mm -hmm. Have you seen minors on there before? Not that I. Not that told you they were a minor, nothing like that. So the one time it happened, you jumped all over that. Do you like yes. kids? No. Just this kid. She was, yeah, they, the picture that was sent uh -huh. was cute and she was, I don't know, I, I. She was cool. I, yeah, she funny. was cool. She was fun to talk to. It was all sexual though, man. You went to sex, everything. Everything she said, it was like, good morning, how's school? What do you want to do to me? You know? Everything you talked about went to sex. And if you got a sex issue, it's fine, right? But it's not fine when you come to our kids. Um, you got one of your compatriots, it looks like is interested in what he's doing. That's the ambulance driver, isn't it? No, no that's uh, Dave with one of the swing shift officers. Uh, they are fixing to get off. Well, I mean, it's completely up to you. We can't, we can't force you to stay out here, but I would like to make sure that you're held accountable. I mean, I don't know if uh, you want these guys to know or not, but I'm sure if the police come through here, everybody's going to know. Yeah, you know? they are. And I mean, I don't know if you can fire yourself, but I'm certain, I'm certain you got a boss somewhere, you know? Probably at home sleeping. Well, I mean, we're not we're not going to call him. I mean, we have the we, we we know who the who to go to. Again, we didn't do that just yet, but um, I think your last concern, man, should be you know maybe being a little late to work when you were going to during work have sex with a child in that blue Chevy truck that looks white, but I guess the sun is blue. Yeah, it is blue, bluish gray. <coughs> anyway, it's gray. Um, do you have any child porn on your phone? No. You have no pictures of children on the phone? No. Because you were getting close, you kept wanting to, you know, I'm not gonna ask you for a picture of you in your underwear, but what if I did, what if I did? Do you know if she would have sent that, which we never would, but if it was a child and would have sent it to you, do you know it's child porn? Yeah. Do you look at child porn? No. No, why did you want it? Another one of those, you don't know what the hell you were thinking? Yeah, yeah. You know somebody that's not interested in kids? Don't do this. How many little boys do you text? No. None? Hmm. Would you ever talk to a little boy like this? No. Why? Why wouldn't you talk to a little boy like this? Because, uh, Are you into boys? No. Okay, well, um, that's why you wouldn't do it, right? Well, yeah. Right? Would you talk like this to somebody you weren't attracted to? Probably not. No. So this is why you were attracted to seventh grade, you know, third, you know, Heather. Looks like they're probably coming, huh? Are they? Do you know them? One of them's on my shift, the other one is swing shift. Okay. Well, it looks like they're probably coming to make sure you're all right. And probably. Again, we're not here to hurt you. Um, I'll be in in a minute. Everything good? Uh, you can come over if you like. You can come over if you like. We're good. He was just trying to invite a 13-year-old um, to have sex in the car. I have all the proof here. Um, so if you guys want to know, this is who you're working with. My name's Tommy. I'm with Colorado Pet Patrol. Um, we've been doing this for 19 months. We have 236 catches. We have 120 arrests. He, am I, am I lying? No. He had a 13 year old come into the truck to have sex with him. Am I lying? No. Just, just, just so you know, yes. You got it. Absolutely.
You got it. You got it. You got it. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, I apologize. He's the head of security here. Head of security. Yeah, I don't think you should you should be worried about that, bro. I think you should be worried about what you'd have done to this child tonight. You know, um, I think they were pretty interested. And it looks like they're probably gonna go tell everybody in the building. There's little kids, there's babies right there, man. There's babies right there. And she's gotta trust that she's at a hospital where the security manager's not gonna be hitting on girls in a truck, you know? And now I gotta go apologize because I feel bad, you know what I mean? But you're the one out here doing this. And you just wanted your guys to walk away, right? So you wouldn't be held accountable. Not gonna work that today. Not gonna work that way, bud. No, I figured they were coming out to <laughs> make sure you were okay. Yeah. Be in in a minute. I wish they would would have came. I mean, thank God this didn't happen. But would they have came out when you were doing whatever you were doing with the girl in the truck? Probably not. You probably would have got away with that if it wasn't for us being here today. I don't feel bad for you, man. I don't feel bad for you. Um, you were you were pretty pretty disgusting. Um, does your mom ever check your phone? She said no. You go nice. What's the furthest you have ever gone with a um, with a man, an older man? Have you done anything more than making out with an older man? How far do you want to go? And then, like I said, phone sex, phone sex, phone sex. If anything happens, it's a bonus. Would you let anything happen? So as long as she was okay with it, you were gonna have sex with a child tonight. Pretty much, right? <clears throat> you didn't bring a condom though, did you? No. No? Why is that? You had a vasectomy, man, right? That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> I was gonna see if he was just gonna say that or what. Uh, is that why though? Is why? Yeah. Just curious, man? Is that what it is? You just curious? Yeah. You know, I have a problem meeting people like you because you got children. Mm -hmm. And, well, I guess you have a wife too. Can we call her? Can we call her? And let her know what you're, what you're doing? I know you don't want to, but I mean, otherwise we gotta do what we gotta do. I think she needs to know, man. They know, I think your wife needs to know. I think this is wrong. Not only are you a cheater, but you were gonna cheat on her while she's at home taking care of your kids with a 13 year old, man. You're in charge of security, My niece. man. There's kids walking all over this place. You're, mm -hmm. you're a fox inside the hen house, dude. Someone needs to know. Right? I mean, I think so. I've got children. What 13 year old would find that attractive? I was at the hospital with my daughter today. A different hospital, but. You think security was fucking with kids in the parking lot? I fucking hope not. Yeah. I doubt it. It <laughs> happens. Believe me. Oh, you can ask him. Right. I don't know, man. Like I said, you don't have to call your wife, but I think it'd be the best for you because if you, either way, it's it's up to you. I don't. I'm not threatening you. Like I said, we're not law enforcement. We we weren't told to leave. We're not gonna leave until we either, you know, finish with you or the cops or you guys tell us to leave or whatever. And then we can just wait off the property and wait for the cops. Whatever. I just think you should tell your wife. Show show some accountability because, man, what you did is fucking scummiest of the scummiest shit you could do. And we had a lady just go in with her babies telling him, tell that motherfucker to turn around. I don't want to see him, you know? Oh, I thought you pointed at something. Oh, no, I was just changing hands with my... I just want to see some, I just want to see some accountability from you. I don't see any. I mean, I know you, I know you know you fucked up because you got caught. You even said, we said, can we tell you something? You said, oh shit, I thought you were going to say this is a police team. <laughs> Did you think it was? In the back of my mind, yes. Is that why you were real careful at the beginning? Yeah. And then what made you think that we were real? Because you, you flipped on, on uh, October, I mean on... The 23rd. 23rd, you flipped. Like you believed us and all of a sudden it was sexual. What made, what made you believe us? To be honest, I don't know what made me believe what she said. Or you guys said, I don't know who it was. No, it, um, it was her. It's just we're not going to let her come here. That's my niece. I don't know. It just... I'm Uncle Tommy, by the way. That's just what I am. Okay. You don't want to call your wife? I mean, she's got to know. She's got to know. She's either got to know my way or your way, you know? Um, I think the people you work with, they already know. I'm satisfied with that. Um, but you got to go home where kids are. And the other day, you said you couldn't talk to us because you were picking up your daughter's friends. So, or you're picking up your daughter and her friends. I don't know, it was like two days ago. I might have been picking up my daughter from work. You said you were picking her up from her friends. 
or picking up her and her friend. I mean, I got the message. It's in here. I just don't remember what it was. But I'm sure you're around your daughter's friends sometimes, right? Actually, no. She's she doesn't ever have them over. They're never they're never at the house. Are they not allowed? No, they just she. The only friends she has are the ones at work, and she'll go out with them. <laughs> but yeah. What they, about what about like your son? Does he bring his girlfriend over? Because she's got a girlfriend. You said. He's brought her. Over. She's come over a couple times. Are you safe around her? Dinner. Yeah. I mean, you say yeah. I like like like. You know, well, but I mean, yeah. but you're not safe around this 13 year old. I mean, she, my, his girlfriend's 18, so she's too old for you. No, not at all. Um, like this is the, this is the first time I've done this, and I know that's what you're saying. And you know, we caught somebody six hours ago. You know what they told us? It's the first time ever, ever. We talked to him five times, but it was his first time ever. You know, you're charged if somebody gets charged for crimes like this, it was always their first time. The first time. I just wonder, is it the first time you've been caught? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever done it, period. You went all the way, man. You swung and went all the way the first time. We caught people on the sex offender registry and somehow it's magically their first time. Yeah, was arrested and charged for three different children. It was the first time. And you're driving a blue truck. Or was that trying to be sneaky? You know, I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't look blue. Um, I don't know. Well, I still haven't heard the question answered. Uh, would you be willing to call your wife? I mean, you can talk to her. I won't say a word if you tell her the truth. I won't say a word. Otherwise, we're going to get in contact with her. We're going to tell her everything. Um, because she deserves to know, right? Don't, don't you agree? And we're, it, we're not going to, you know get you in any less trouble by sitting out here all night. Yeah, I mean, we, I've had trouble with the dating sites and stuff like that. With her? In our, well, in our marriage before. Mm -hmm. And it's actually part of the reason I was let go from the Navy. Um, because of what? Websites on the- Children? On the, no. Why would the, why would the Navy get rid of you? Adult, they, they call it, they label they it misconduct. Like, uh, they what? Adultery. Misconduct? They labeled it misconduct, looking up porn and stuff on the... Computer at work? Work computers. Mm -hmm. um, Did you so, get charged for it? No, uh, no They all they did was... A court marshal? me with a... It was a captain's mask. So it didn't go to court martial because I didn't fight it. Um, so I ended up with a general under honorable with misconduct. And Other than reason. honorable? Uh, no, ge actually general under honorable gotcha. conditions. Because um, you were looking at child, I mean, looking at porn at work, yeah. on a work computer. On, on the work computer. Do you do that here too? No. No. <clears throat> Does that no. come up in your record when you go to get jobs and stuff or no? It's like sealed up? I, I don't know, it just never come up. Well, if you got this so, job, it definitely didn't come up. Um, no, I back, passed, passed, excuse me, background checks for this job and anybody else that's run one but I know I think it's just so if we called your wife would she be would she be surprised that's the only reason I want to call yes she would she'd be surprised that you're talking to a child on the internet mm -hmm. let's call her let's see we're gonna have to talk to her man I mean you know we're gonna have to you're gonna have to own up to this somehow you know I mean if, if, you, if you did get arrested for this would you call your wife is that who you'd call to come get you out of jail we're not cops I'm not saying you're going to jail I'm just saying if that happened I would probably call her, but she wouldn't be able to come. She wouldn't be able to bail me out. We don't have the money for it. Well, I'm just saying, so um, you would have to tell her what you're there for. So wouldn't yeah. it be easier to tell her without doing all that? I would, I would definitely rather not do it. I mean, unless, unless you're, uh, like, it, we're not cops. We're not cops. I don't even know what county we're in. I have no effing clue. Um, we drove an, a little over an hour to, to come meet you today. So she lived about 30 minutes away, but we live down in Denver. So it was an hour and 15 minutes to get here. Um, unless they call the cops. I, I don't know. It seems like they just maybe went to work. I really don't know. I just think you need to show some accountability, man. Uh, again, today we called the police because um, the guy didn't want to call his daughter. And, and I'm not, it's not, it is not a threat. I just, it's like, she should know. However, um, we're going to have to contact her too, you know, but I wouldn't. That's, I think it's, it's your job to tell her. And I, I just want to kind of hear if she's like, you know, oh shit, he's doing it again, you know? I, th that's more so what I'm looking for. Because 
reading this, man, I'm telling you, I, I really think there's more to it. So no girl's gonna come out and say that guy, that guy did something to me? N no. None of that will ever happen? No. Never been with anybody like younger than 18. <clears throat> but you were gonna throw it all away for a 13 year old seventh grader. Just went, just, just this year going to seventh grade. You know, and even if it was 14, because you keep saying 14, do you think 14 is any better than 13? No, it's not. Do you have a hard time are you meeting girls? I mean, you got a fucking wife. It's obviously not. Do you like your wife? I do. Um, so does she know you're out here doing these kind of things? Is she okay with she that? She probably has an idea that I'm talking to girls. But are, um, are you guys having an open relationship? Or would she be pissed off about this? She wouldn't. She wouldn't be happy. She wouldn't be happy. And chances are, we would talk about it in the morning when I got home. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't be able to hear it. You know what I mean? And I can't. I'm not going to believe you that you're going to just give us your word and go talk to her at home. If, well, if if I can't hear it, then I'm going to just do what we do and and get the police here. And they may come in and talk to you. They may not. I really don't know. I heard Greeley is tough, tough, tough. But I, I don't. I have never worked with Greeley before, so I don't know. I mean, a couple times. Um, I think it was three for three, but it's completely up to you. We can't force you to do anything, man. Again, we're not law enforcement. We just wanted to talk to you, see where your head was at with it, and just see if you were, you know, any kind of accountability at all. Um, I don't see any. What do you guys think? What do you think? Um, I think it would be a loving thing to do to yeah. hear that from your spouse, but uh, what do I know? I'm, uh, I'm a divorced man, so... Uh... It's just my opinion. But. I mean, a good husband would do that, but a good husband probably wouldn't be out here fucking little girls. I mean, real talk. I, I, I get you. I hear you. I feel, I feel strongly about that as well. I mean, you've got a towel in that blue truck right over there to clean up the mess from having sex with a child, man. That's, that's horrifying. So is that a no? I'm actually going to keep back to my... Do whatever you want, man. You are absolutely allowed to sit down. Take a, take a load off. Yeah, it is your place, man. You're the head guy around here. We're just. Uh, this is your day. We're visiting. This is your day, man. This should be the should be the worst day of your life. I hope it is. Oh yeah. I hope so, because you would have destroyed that child, especially since you were never going to talk to her again. Either way, it's no bueno. What is that? Push for help. Oh. That's the emergency call box. Would you answer if we had to push that? Uh, no, if you push that, it goes to our dispatch down in Aurora Danshoots. Gotcha. And then they would have to call me, so it makes no sense at all. Just a long, longer way to get to you? Yeah, pretty much. It's a middle man. <clears throat> and just put on speaker when you do. All right. I feel bad for her, man. Go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. Um. So I need to talk to you. Are you? You're home, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I need to tell you I've been talking to a girl. Um through an app called Meet Me. And it turns out she is a minor. Well, you knew that. I've got guys from... Colorado Pet Patrol? Colorado Pet Patrol here. They stopped me on my way into work. Um, because she turned out to be a minor. And when well, did she turn out to be a minor? You knew the whole time. Be honest, bud. You gotta be honest. I... She told me she was a minor, and at the very beginning, the conversation still continued. And then, ma'am, my name's Thomas. He invited her to his work. Can you hear him? He in, he in, yep. he invited her to his work, so she was supposed to be here at 11:30. What was your break? You said 11:30. Uh, 11:30, and they were going to have um, intercourse in his truck. How dare you? We intercepted it, and um, I mean, he's been 100% honest, but we're worried about problems with other children, and that's why, he, he said he was single. He didn't, he said he was not in a relationship, that she couldn't go to the house because of a 17 and a 19 year old girl, but did not bring you up until just now when I asked him and he said, I am married. How dare you? 
I know. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? A 13 year old. I wish I knew, to be honest with you. No, no. That's a lie of fucking bullshit. Have you known him to like children before? No, never. Never? Okay. Never. Yeah, it's bad. I mean, he told her her homework was to learn how to give him a job tonight, so she had to learn um, to Google it. Um, brought a towel because he said he was going to possibly make her bleed um, because of her age, 13, and she's a virgin. And um, gave the address. How dare you? Like, seriously. Like, you just totally, like, ruined all of her fucking lives. Hurts everybody, man. Hurts everybody for your selfishness. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Seriously. Do you not know what you just did? What you just caused? More problems than I'm sure we can handle. You think? I know. It was very hard for him to call you, to be honest with you. He did not want to, but we feel well, you I'm deserve sure it. He didn't. Well, you deserve to know, and it's not right. So we kind of basically pretty much begged him to do it um, because we think you need to know. Not only that, you know, he sent us one message that he was picking up his kid, his daughter, and her friend, or something like that. Um, so we're just worried if there was any issues with, you know, daughter's friends because this one was 13. No, no. Okay. There has never, ever, okay, good. Ever, ever. Good, good been anything like it before and we've okay. been married 20 years so okay she would know okay well i mean she wouldn't have known about this one if it well, wasn't for us catching you yeah, okay. uh, he said he was I, I have no words i i don't even know what to say like i am so angry and heartbroken and just i don't even how sad yeah. how sad man so I'm going to guess and say you're going to jail. I, I honestly, I don't know. Um, his work knows about it. I don't know if they just called the police. I'm not even positive, um, but I'm pretty sure they did. Do you think? I have no idea. Um, we're out here with cameras and stuff. We are not law enforcement. Um, this is our 236 catch. Um, we have 120 arrests that we go around the, pretty much all states and, and, and do this. Um, but basically, we've been talking to him for a couple of weeks. We haven't. The decoy, the 13-year-old has. And um, it was just, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't meet unless it was a hotel or here. And this was the night. He tried to invite her a couple nights ago, but it was a school night. Um, so then tonight, since she didn't have school tomorrow, she could have came, you know, at 11.30, 2 and, or 4 o'clock at his lunch. Um, but we decided to get him before work instead of at that time, obviously. You're unbelievable. And so this cost you your fucking job and everything else. Yeah. All because you're a fucking idiot. Like, I, 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 I don't even, I have no words. I, like, I don't even know what to say to you. I didn't. I cannot believe that you would do something like this. I know. I know doesn't even cover Fuck it. Like, no. We just wanted to make sure he told you. He said he was going to tell you in the morning. I just didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Well, thank you. And I'm so, so sorry. We did not know you existed till today. Right. Um, we saw on the Facebook and then we found it. But he, he assured us that he was single and that it was just the kids at home. So he couldn't have us come over because they would think something was up if a 13 year old came over. But, but we saw on the Facebook when we took over that he was in a relationship, so we knew. And then when I asked him, he finally said, oh, I do got a wife at home. Um, right. And told us about the Navy incident and all that. And, I mean, if he has a sex problem, that's one thing, but a child problem is another. Yeah. And it's I, disturbing. I it's blown away by that one. Like, two totally, weeks. Like, totally blown away. Yeah, two weeks. And there was plenty of times he could have got out of it. And he just yeah. kept, it was every single morning, midday, afternoon, how's the morning, how's school, how's lunch, how's dinner, yep. all night throughout work. I mean, he... Uh, <sighs> like, you have sat there and talked your entire life about how 
horrible these people are that do this shit. Have you ever seen these before? She might. Have you watched these where people go out and catch the guys doing this? Yeah. You've seen them? Mm-hmm. Have you, you seen, seen us? us? I don't think so. Colorado Pet Patrol, no? I don't think so. Did she hang up? No. No, oh, she's still there. I thought you were. No, I thought I hit a button. And... But you watch these and you still, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you took the chance, man. I'm glad you got caught because you know what? If it wasn't us, it was going to be the child in that blue truck. Which looks, again, like I said, that blows my mind. I just think you were probably maybe trying to deter her a little bit. or something. I don't know. Or maybe not. It, it, it is. It's a blue truck, okay. It is blue. It's just did you see us pull up when we pulled up? Did you notice us? No. No? You were too busy texting her. No, I was actually just sitting there. Oh, you were texting us. We, we have the app that we can see when you're messaging her. And you were saying you're just chilling in the parking lot, waiting for work. Just oh, relaxing. Yeah, Can't wait to see her. You're excited. So, again, I'm glad your wife knows, um, cause you weren't gonna tell her. I'm glad your work knows, cause you weren't gonna tell them. You know, um, people like you need to be now dealt with. what's going on with your work? <clears throat> um, it was two officers that had walked outside. Is, um, and I explained to them what, what was going on. And they kind of just turned their heads and walked away yeah, in, in disgust. I don't know until I get inside. Okay, well, I, I I don't even know what to say to you. Like, I... Uh, I don't. I can't believe it that you would do this. You want to tell her that you think you're not so she can watch? <laughs> you are throwing, like, everything, everything mm. away. Yeah. Like, we have come so far to try to move and buy a house and... You are completely fucking just ruining everything. I know. All because you can't keep your dick in your pants. It's sad, man. You're not hurting yourself. You're hurting everybody else. Blown away. I I can't even believe that you would do this shit. It's sick. And unfortunately, people are going to know you now. Because of this. And so you put you put your kids and your wife for no reason, man, for your for your own pleasure. You destroy so many lives. Not a let to, let alone the 13 year old that would have been destroyed for life. Let me tell you, I work with a lot of them. That's why we do this. <sighs> you don't have a boss here. You're the boss, or do you have somebody above you? Uh, I'm the boss here tonight. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe you should get your shit together. You think they're going to tell somebody? I have no idea what they what or not. Are they your friends? Well, I think maybe you need to figure your shit out. Yeah, what do you do from here? Do you think? I mean, you were supposed to work overtime all fucking weekend to try to help come up with money to help us move and buy a house. I know. And then... I mean, seriously, what the hell goes through your head? These gentlemen asked me the same thing. What is it? I don't know, but maybe you need to seek some help. Go to the fucking VA and ask for help or something. It's a problem, man. You got a problem somewhere when you do this. You might need to see a therapist. You're the only one that knows. But I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for us catching you today, you'd be in prison for 40 years, dude. Yep. You're, you're lucky. For a little bit of fucking joy that you probably wouldn't even get. I mean, that's sick. Absolutely fucking sick. Seventh grader. 85 pounds. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You need to go tend to your shit and figure out what 
Like you locked your keys in? I don't. That's right. Um, my friend has the key. I oh. Sure Dang it. So, <laughs> I will. Aw. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you need to figure out what the fuck's going on. You still have a job, and then you need to let me know what the hell's going on. All right. I will. Bye. Damn, she's not very happy, huh? I, uh, I knew she wouldn't be. <clears throat> of course she wouldn't be. What do you think? Has, anybody, has your boss called you? No. No? Nobody's called you? Uh, would they? I don't think they would have called anybody. <clears throat> two guys that were outside. But I don't know because I'm not... They probably have kids. The they probably have kids. Um, the bigger one does. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just sure they don't like what you're out here doing. They kind of looked like, are you good? And then when I told them, they were kind of like, all right, you know, like, yeah. what do you do, man? You're gonna go to the VA and you're gonna get some help? Yeah. I, or are you just telling your wife what you want her to no, hear? No, I'll, I'll have to call them <clears> on Monday now because we're going into the weekend, so. Well, obviously. But. But you're supposed to be working overtime to help you know, get a house, but you're working overtime so you can have breaks with 13 year olds. I don't know, man. I think you're, you're uh, just being real. I don't know you. I think you, I think you got a fucking real problem. Um, <clears throat> and I know your wife says, well, I know he's never done this, but she didn't think you would do this. So. Well, like I said, she, she knows that. How many times I, have you cheated on her without her knowing? She, without her knowing. She's found out about every time. Every single time. Mm -hmm. There's not one. That she wouldn't have found. One way or another, she has found out, and I, I don't know how she does it, but she has found out every time that I have cheated on her. Like I, like I said, which is, we've had. Issues. She cheat on you? No. Fucking terrible, bud. Terrible, terrible, terrible. These guys normally talk, but I think you got them just in a fucking funk. Seriously. What do you think, Captain? <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, <clears throat> glad you called your wife. Force you to. Uh, no, but I, I agree with you guys. She needed to know, and I knew how she was going to react when I told her. I knew I knew that was coming. I was prepared for it. But the sad Someone. thing, the sad thing is, is she's like, you know what? You need to go get your job, fix your shit, and get get your shit right. So she's willing to stay with you. You know what I mean? And and that's what marriage, you know, whatever. I but fucked up. We've been married twenty years, <clears throat> and have, she ain't going to leave for nothing. I have fucked up enough that. And she has forgiven me every time, and I, I love her for it. I truly do love my wife, and she's chosen to stick by me every single time. Has helped me get because I did see a therapist for a little while after the military when I got back to Colorado, and yeah, I'll I'll have to get a hold of the VA again on Monday to see if I can get in and see one. Yeah, you should, man, because I, I, I really, 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 really doubt you're going to have a job tonight. I mean, that's just, if I was a betting man, I'm not a betting man, but um, I'm pretty sure that they, they definitely won't like this, you know? Again, I didn't say if you were going to get arrested or not because I have no idea, but if I was them, I would have been inside and I would have ca called the police. Um, but I know people are going to know you, and, and if you did touch anybody in Grayley and wherever, Evans, mm -hmm. your house, whatever, it's going to come out. Um, so, I mean, that's up to you to say it, but it's going to come out. Um, this will be posted on YouTube um, because we need to make sure your neighbors know, you know, anybody who has a child needs to know you're out there doing this. I mean, I don't know how many people are watching you right now, but I'm sure it's two or two or 20 or 30, you know, um, it's just terrible, man. This whole book is just, it bothers me. We had to catch it too. And we're like, you know what? We're going to stay up and wait for this eight hours later because you were just that bad. You know, you're, you're okay with making a little 13 year old bleed while you're at work, while your wife's at home with your two kids. Fucking, I don't think you're going to get the father or husband of the year award this year. No. I yeah, we were reading it on the way down and, uh, you know, she, you know, she told you that her age was uh, 13 and usually when we say that on the app, guys don't you know, give us their information. Uh, it just seemed like so, you know, easy and like normal for you, you know, like you, you gave, you know, your information and, you know, like where your truck was and, uh, you know, like what we had kind of come to find in the chat logs was like, 
you seemed like you were kind of, you know, down for the conversation the whole time. And then when she had kind of opened up hey, to you there. about how she felt and maybe what she wanted to do, that's kind of when uh, you seemed to open up a little bit more. Uh, you know, with the point being that you know, it seemed like the conversation was something that you were comfortable with almost the entire time. Yeah. Pretty disturbing, man. You had all the normal stuff. Asking about mom. She said mom's away all night. Where's you seemed into that. You asked where dad was. Oh, I've, I think she said I never met my dad. And you seemed to really latch on to that like a lot of other creeps do, you know. Um, it's disgusting, dude. 13-year-old child. You were married seven years before this child was born. No shit. Oh shit, she's married 20 years. Yeah, she's 20 years in July. <sighs> it's too bad, man, it's too bad. Do you feel bad? I, yeah, I mean. I don't see any sympathy, like I just see like you're like, eh, that sucks, you know, whatever. I fucked up, might lose my job. My wife might be mad, but she'll never leave me. Like, you know, that's, that's kind of what I get, you know? There's no ounce of like, I mean, the, the, the scummiest of the scum people are the people that hurt children. Like, I would trust a murderer <laughs> over you, you know? And I'm, I'm just being real with you, man. I would. It's fucking disgusting. This book right here is just, it's, it amazes me that we're still catching them. I mean, you watch this shit on TV and you've seen this and you're still doing it. You're telling your wife you can't stand guys like this. <laughs> you know? What would you have done if somebody did this to your child? probably be a little pissed yeah. maybe a little more than pissed yeah I don't know man <clears throat> I don't know I think that uh, you know we definitely need to make sure this never happens again there's only really one way to do that you know so I don't know I don't know if you're going to keep your job here but there's little kids all through here we've been sitting here for 20 minutes 25 minutes and I've seen two sets of little kids going inside not saying you could hurt them but you know I don't know if you're eye fucking them or you know I just don't know there's a lady that locked her car out, locked herself out of her car. Because and it's, it's happening right now. She, she pulled up and we were talking to you about this, mm -hmm. talking to your so compatriots. Disturbed. She was so disturbed, had a child under each arm, that she locked her keys in the car. And you should be the one helping her get the fucking keys out of the car, dude, right? Do you got Slim Jims in there? No, we don't. What no. would you do when somebody locks their keys in the car? Uh, they, we would, they would have to call a locksmith or somebody who has a spare key. We don't, we don't have... The authority to let them into their vehicle in order to be have the I wonder if she could call the police and they would right. unlock it for her. Police? Mm, they, I, don't know. I don't know if PD would or not. I don't know. I wonder if we should try. Maybe get the PD to see if they can unlock yeah, it for her. Yeah, she could tell them why she locked them in the car. <laughs> she was so disturbed idea. by what was happening in the parking lot. Yeah, good idea. What happened to all your compadres, man? I thought a whole bunch of people were getting off of work and then they just never came out. Is that another one there? She works my shift. She does, so you know her real well? They, they must know you're not inside, right? Like, do, yeah, don't, don't you guys have a meeting? The and other supervisor's still here. Which one? Oh, he's the one that came out earlier? No. Uh, that was, Is that he guy. still here because he, they're waiting on you, probably? Yeah, he's waiting for me to come inside. Did he message you? No. So they know what's going on. Wouldn't he message you and say, hey, uh, you're 10 minutes later? He wouldn't, wouldn't, no? They probably told him I was outside. You don't think they told on you? Like, if you had to guess. No, I don't think they did. Really? I, I mean, to be honest, I don't know. I, I, Is that your office right there? I won't, uh, we're, With no, the TV? We're, we're straight in, straight in the building. Down on the first floor? Yeah, we're, all, yeah, we're on the first floor. So what are you going to do when they go inside and they say, what were you doing? You're just going to be like, oh, it's my friends from high school. Or what are you going to say? <laughs> well, if... David, who was the shorter one in the yellow shirt, hadn't said anything, hasn't said anything to anybody in there. He might have. No, he might have. I don't know. Like I said, I won't know until I walk in that building. Do you think he should? Do you think he should or I should? Do you think he should? Do you think he should tell people what's going on? Is part of your guys' job to report suspicious activity? Especially report somebody trying to have sex with a child at work. Right. Like, are you allowed to bring friends to work? Are you allowed to? I mean, I'm just, it's just a regular question. Not, I mean, regular people. Could you have your buddy come up here? 
Yeah. You could do that? And you could have maybe a, your wife come and hang out with, with you in the truck and stuff and fool around? That'd be okay, probably? If she, well, she's usually asleep, but I mean, if she, if she I mean, yeah, if she wanted to. She that would have been okay? Yeah, Certainly wouldn't be okay to have a 13-year-old in the truck. No. Certainly wouldn't be okay. No, and I, and I knew that, and yet I still didn't stop, obviously, because you guys are standing here talking to me. Right, because I think you were thinking with your other head, and I think your, your head up here is definitely definitely allowed your head down there to use its brain and um again man <clears throat> you already committed the felonies <clears throat> it would have been a lot worse if she would have gotten that truck obviously you would have had a whole bunch of other charges kidnapping all kinds of shit yeah. but right now you've already committed two felonies one actually could be three teaching her how to have sex luring her um with intent for sex and then actually setting up a meet for the meeting uh, because you were going to meet her tonight so you've already committed two felonies, possibly three. Again, I don't know. I don't know what Greeley does. I I don't know. Is this is this Weld County? Yes. Is this city or? Uh, sheriffs? I think we're within Weld County's. Sheriffs or it would be the police? Well, I don't know because we have them both coming in and out of the hospital. Oh. So I really yeah, don't yeah, yeah. know where the hospital lies. Well, if they both come in, it's probably Greeley police. It's it's Greeley Police? Yeah, because yeah. if it wasn't Greeley, then the Greeley Police wouldn't up, yeah. come here. Because I was looking up that. Sheriffs would go to both. Well, we have Milliken PD that comes up here. Uh, Dropping people off, probably, or, or yeah. they're or they're watching them while they're getting help or whatever, right? Yeah. You're so calm. That's what I'm saying. So it's, calm. It's insane. Like, it's like, there's Tommy just like... Tommy about the police or sheriffs, and he's like, oh, oh let me yeah, be helpful, like, you know? It, when he stood up, he, he pardoned himself for kind of moving toward me and... It's just like, it's like, you're really just so nonchalant and maybe that's just the way you are, but like, do you realize you could have ruined your life? You could have ruined a child's life. And, and that's more important. But like, I mean, in real life, what should happen is just, they should have already told you you were fired. I don't know if that's going to happen. You should be in cuffs on the way to the police department. Probably not going to happen, right? They didn't even come out, but like, and you're just like, yeah, we'll see what happens when we walk inside. They, they might not have told. I'm, I'm curious if they did, you know? I'm curious if they did. Um, we, unfortunately, I do, I, do we have to stay here? Do we have to stay here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have to stay here because we have to talk to the Greeley police, but you get to go inside, you know? Somebody's looking out the window. Oh, it's another kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another child, man. There's children all around here. So... I don't know. Um, like I said, man, I, I hope you really get some help. I hope you fucking... It seems like your wife is willing to let you do whatever you want to do and she stays with you because she fucking doesn't deserve this shit. But... No, she doesn't. Then. And you continuously keep putting her through it and now you just tried to completely... Because you said you weren't going to be with this girl. You were just going to... Yeah. make her deserve this. Make her, make her um, you know, become a... No longer a virgin, and then and then never talk to her again. Yeah. That's not fucking cool, man. Your kids don't deserve this. Other people's children do not deserve this, and you're in charge of protecting this place, protecting these people, protecting those children that are in there, and you're failing miserably, dude. That's not protecting someone, inviting them to, the, to your truck to have sex with them, a, a child, a minor. It's disgusting, is what it is. And what concerns me is your boss that you're supposed to relieve. Nobody said nothing, so which to me means they gotta know, right? Like, you show up late often? No. Never? I'm usually in there by 25 after. 24. Which is where I was headed when you guys caught me. Right, right, right. So, so but they're still in there. And, and wouldn't, your, wouldn't you think your boss would be like, where you at, man? Like, because he probably wants to go home. You gotta. He's, he actually walked past the windows and, saw, and looked out here. So he knows I'm out here. Was that before or after the other guys? After. After. Well, I know some places like, like a note or something like that. Should we? Could we write you a note? Give him like a maybe an late excused note. tardiness. I mean, you could hand them this and say we were busy. We I got go, extra copies of this. We go explain to them the whole thing, maybe, just so they're not unclear. About yeah, we don't want you to get in trouble. We could, if you like, we could, we could let them know why you were late. You know, because that's not your fault why you were late. We held you up. Yeah, you weren't expecting. Colorado Pet Patrol. Yeah. You were going to wait till your break to have the 13 year old come over. You weren't breaking any rules as far as policy. So I don't want you to get written up for being late or nothing, you know? 
I don't know, man. I hope you get some help. Seriously, being real, I hope you get some help. Okay. You were going to hurt a child tonight. You hurt your wife. I mean, you know, who knows? She's probably in tears now. I don't know. I'm, sound like she was pretty hurt, I'm though. I'm quite certain. I mean, she wasn't crying, but a lot of times there's a thing called shell shock. She did not expect this. She, she um, waited till she got off the bunk. Well, she doesn't know us either, you know? She could be watching right now. I have no idea. She could be watching. Um, you said you've seen this before. Has she seen this before? Did you guys watch it together? Uh, no, I might have just caught it offhand. No, no, one time. More children, man, more children. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. What time is it? I was trying to hold it off to make it easier for you so you don't have to embarrass yourself, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But 10 18. 10 I don't know. What do you guys say? Uh, I'm pretty much done. I have nothing else. Yeah. We have to wait. Uh oh. Are we being recorded? No. Looks like. Well, maybe. <laughs> Isn't she got a camera? I have no idea what she has. She was taking it. Does she work here? I... She 100% yes. was taking a picture. 100% was taking a picture. She was zooming in on you, man. Yep, you're star. So if somebody's taking a picture of you, I do believe they probably know. Um, just more families, or is that security? No, there's no security. No security. How many security guards do you have at one time? I only have five tonight. Total? Covers this whole building? Yeah. Like even the way down there is open? Uh, no, the only part of the hospital that's technically open right now is the ED. And so you have five of you just here? to cover the ED and then we patrol the second and third floors. Right. Well, like I said, we're gonna have to wait here because uh, a PD is on their way, so. You gotta answer to this somehow, man. It was, you took way too long to call your wife. And uh, so we called before because I didn't think you were gonna call your wife. So they know, they were watching. Um, sometimes they're just busy, but you got people in there taking pictures of us, and, you know. Um, it's not a good look, man. Not a good look. This is bad, bad, bad place to be doing this shit. Anywhere in the world is a bad place, but man, at your work, like, ugh. <coughs> me. Oh no, you're you're excused. I don't have anything else unless Cooley and Captain do. I don't know. I mean, I really don't. I just you might be a little more embarrassed if they come inside and talk to you. So I was trying to give you a chance to talk to them outside before you went in, but that's completely on you. I just I can't hold off any longer. Yeah, man. Whatever happens, dude, get some help. It'll help you in the future, and it'll help your future victims if you if you have them, man. I'm gonna call on Monday Monday morning. Your wife don't deserve this. When I get home, I would encourage you to. You your family you doesn't. You have a daughter, a son. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. To answer that question. Are you guys financially stable? Without you working? Without me working, no. Because I'm the only one that does. My wife is not able to. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Yeah, well, that's all I got too, man. So, like I said, the police are en route. They should be here any minute. They said they were en route. So they're either gonna come talk to you inside or outside, I don't know. Again, I never said you were getting arrested. So that's, that's, that's unfortunately not up to us. Cause if it was, you already would have been. I don't like people who go around trying to touch little girls. And the way you were going to do it, man, was so disturbing. And you brought a towel because you were going to make her bleed. And that just fucking, ugh. That tells me something a little different. So I don't believe this is your first time. And I don't believe it's your last time. I just hope to God it is. You need to get help so you fucking hopefully don't do this again. There goes that poor lady who locked her keys in her car. Yeah, she can't. Back inside. She wouldn't have done that if you wanted to hear it. And she even said, turn him around. Don't let him look at my fucking kids. That's what she said. You got a mom with two toddlers running around with keys locked in her car because she was so shocked at your conduct here. Yeah, you're you're, you're going to be known after this one, bud. So just so you know, you got a lot of friends here in Colorado? I was born and raised here. <laughs> okay. Greeley's a, is it Evans or Greeley? I live in Evans. Evans, that's what, that's what I thought. Because that's a pretty small, like, close-knitted town, isn't it? It's kind of like the ghetto of Greeley. But everybody knows everybody type shit. I, I mean, you know everybody at your apartment, probably, right? I know the neighbor's name across the hallway. That's it? That's about it. 
Yeah, we don't usually. So there's no like socialization at the apartments or anything like that. Thank fucking God. Um, but they should know they have a child lurker sitting in that building though. And unfortunately, it's sad because your kids don't deserve this. Your wife doesn't deserve this, but you deserve all of it. Yeah. You did this. And I don't, I don't think you truly care. So. Oh, I, I do. I, I do care. Because you got caught, right? It's like my wife said, I, what were you thinking? Mm -hmm. I obviously wasn't. Oh, you were thinking. Well, because you were careful at first and you said it could have been a sting and you had to make sure she was real so you were, you were thinking on how to not get yourself into trouble you just ended up just like every other child predator and you uh you couldn't control your urges to be a sick sick person man i don't know if there's help out there for you but i would certainly hope you try for it for your wife's sake not for your sake just because i know your wife's going to stay with you so i'd hope to god you'd make it better Unfortunately, man, I've seen it too many times where the wives just don't leave. And it's sad because your kids are gonna have babies someday. You're gonna be a grandpa someday. Are those kids gonna be okay? We say check your kids' devices, but sometimes, you know, you gotta check your grandpa's devices too. You're the kind of grandpa I'd be worried about. So, I'm done with you. I, I really have nothing else to say to you. You're, you. You were always free to go. Um, I'm just telling you, we have to stay here, obviously, until, until the PD gets here and then they're going to talk to us. I'm going to give them this and then they're probably going to walk in there. I don't know where you'll be or wherever you're going to be, whatever. I can tell him if you want me to. He's right there. I, I, I don't know. But we can't leave um, because we reported it. So. But unless you guys have anything else, I'm, I'm damn near done. I, I got nothing else to say. I'm, I'm just, I'm stunned. There is zero, zero. Who's this guy? Yeah, this can't help me. Is that a locksmith? Could be. No. Hope so. Who's that? It's my boss. Oh. Oh. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Hi, I'm Ernie. Incredible. <laughs> you what? I said I'm incredible. What's going on? Um. Why don't you go inside for me? Me? Yeah. Okay. Can I help you guys with something? We're waiting on the police. Um, Perfect. He invited a 13-year-old girl to that truck for sex, and we have it all right here. So just, right, oh, we're waiting for the whenever police. Whenever the police get here, have them come in and talk to me. What's him, your name? Okay? Ernie. Ernie. I'll yep. have them ask for you. Well, Absolutely. Done, Ernie. Thank you, Ernie. You There's, oh, the police are here. They're here, sir. Just so you know. Right, right. Just right there. Okay. Ernie, we'll tell them. Good chat. Boss is here. How are you? Good, sir. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, right uh, yeah, one of us. Right okay, okay, okay. Mom, sir, Flores, good okay. police. Yeah. What's going on tonight? So I'm Thomas Fellows with Colorado Pet Patrol. The gentleman, he just walked in this house. His boss came, I think, to relieve him of his duties. Um, he invited 11-year-old, I mean, I'm sorry, a 13-year-old girl to come to have sex with him in that truck right there. Um, okay. He's the heads of security here. Oh, is he? Uh -huh. um, knew we were 13 from start to finish. Um, we don't work in Greeley often. We're out of Broomfield okay. area. Um, but he reached out to us. We let him know we were 13 years old and he had a full blown relationship. At first he was kind of scared, um, but once he believed that she was a female, he ended up inviting her to work, told her he you know, didn't need to con him, but he was gonna bring a towel because he was probably gonna make her bleed and just stuff like that. He admitted it on camera completely, which if you guys give us an email, we, we don't have every message because there were some messages when we didn't have a printer. Okay. But we'll certainly give you everything. But this is your book. Um, this is just my notes um, from start to finish. And then we got a recording of him that just says he's a fuck up and he was going to have sex with her in that truck. Um, it's everything. And okay. um, so we kind of talked to him. We were just waiting for you guys. We told him you guys were coming. I love this channel. We love you too. Can we get the chat to yeah. weigh in? What color is this truck, guys? What color right is this truck? This very blue truck. What color do you think this is? <laughs> it's definitely not blue. And that's how we break the end. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one more, but I only got one more. I'd imagine they don't usually have staff meetings out here. <laughs> <laughs> 40 degrees. So happy stayed up for the catch. Happy you're here.
Sure it's it's blue in daylight. <laughs> Have the emergency room, dude. Like, yeah. People whisking their kids <laughs> in and out the whole time. Hey, look up the vent, it'll tell the color. <laughs> Looks like he's turning into stuff, boys. Thank you, Pisces gal. I had to leave a bit for... I had to leave for a bit to calm my baby girl down. Did the guy get arrested? Uh, so this is him right here. Oh, looks like he's getting f -f fired A little bit of fired would feel nice right now. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, why would he take off his jacket? You're fired, bud. And hopefully... Oh, shit. There goes the chat. Where'd it go? Yeah. Hopefully he's divorced too. Hopefully they let His belt? Why is he taking? Are they just gonna strip him down of everything? The of <laughs> There's a really, he's wearing employee pants right now. Is it too soon for me to go ask them if they're hiring? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, another cop just showed up. That's kind of good news. That's probably a target. Yeah. Or detective. <laughs> Go to jail in his boxes. We got another cop on the scene, is that what yep. we're saying? Yep. yep. We got another cop on the scene. Sergeant or detective. Right, oh, yeah. is he in cuffs? He's in cuffs, my friends. He's fucking. No fucking shit. Dude. Get back over here, Captain. Thank you for the dono, Pisces girl. I'm gonna try to do this as smoothly as I can. I guess we don't gotta sit here for 20 minutes. Yeah, thankfully. Right over here. Disco Uber ride. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to have to zoom out or it's going to be all sorts of crazy for you. If he's still outside of the car by the time we get over to our place, then I'll zoom back in. Hey, good job, Vanessa. He got fired, arrested, and divorced all in one night. Woo! Is he in the back of this? Yes. He's right here. He's right there. Oh, now they have him in the car. Oh, uh, let's see the blue truck. Dude, the blue that truck. is wild. Like, uh, dude, it, it doesn't get any whiter than that, dude. It's definitely, I mean, it might have like a little gray tint on the hood because it's fading away. I like blue. Oh my goodness. Guys, <laughs> guys, smash the like because we're done. They're going away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, uh, cause we got what we needed and he is cuffed up and 121 baby. I appreciate you guys, you guys are rock stars. Thank you so much. Uh, say goodbye to the team, team. Oh, thank you for coming out. <laughs> He's back there. Vanessa, great job great behind job, the Vanessa. scenes, great job. Dude, I was just saying it's kind of depressing. We haven't had the rest in a while and Greeley, <laughs> baby. See you guys, bye. Damn, bro!
Is anyone in the house? Look, we got your chat logs. We got you by the balls. And when the police pull up, we give them to the law. It's the big homie Tom from Colorado. He on the stroll. Pulling up on bed from Colorado. Bed patrol. the fucking police. Another one. Another one bites the dust. And another one. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Another one. Another one. Another one bites the dust. We ain't gonna call a And another one, psych. another one, another one bites the dust. Hey, hey. Nah, we not the police. You can take off at any time. But just know when you do that, the cops gonna be on your line. Come on, you bought booze and lose and condoms, dude. Even sent dick pics with your face in them, too. He came to be the 12 year old bundle of joy, your 51 year old husband. You desperate, boy. And let me guess, this is your first time you wasn't gonna do nothing. I have never did anything like this. I would never do anything okay. like this again. But that ain't what the chat logs say. You said you didn't care about the age. You said you had your lube and condoms and you gave me your address, which you gave me your neighbor's address, by the way. And then we found you. Exposed you on YouTube and now we clown you. All the fucking police. Another one. Another one bites the dust. That's not right. And another one. Yeah. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Another one, another one, another one bites the dust. And another one, another one, another one bites the dust. Six-year-old boy. Yes, that's what I did.